Hi, in this tutorial, we will learn how to create a pivot table. So for example, you are having this data and you want to summarize this data on basis of certain values. For example, the wrap or the item or the region. And uh, as we are having a lot of uh, central as the regions, we can just uh, rename a few of these. Just a second. And uh, let's say we are having a few of these uh, which have the value south, north, central, east. So we are we can pretty much uh, summarize these by regions as well. So now let's create the pivot table. So here we have the option insert and then pivot table. So basically you have to select the region of uh, the table from which you want to create the pivot table. So basically you are selecting the data source of your pivot table. And uh, here it is, we are having this uh, entire data. And uh, alternatively, you can uh, select the entire set of rows of the worksheet. So in that case, if there will be a lot of new rows that will be created, then your data, your pivot table will be considering all of that as well. So it depends really if you want to select the uh, particular area of the table or you want to select whole of the rows of your worksheet. So once you have selected whatever the data source should be, then where do you want to create that uh, pivot table? So here in our case, we want to create it in a existing worksheet. So just uh, select the cell where you want that pivot table to be and just click on OK. So now you will be shown this kind of area where there will be pivot uh, table fields and this uh, placeholder so select the broader category by which you want to summarize the data so in our case let's say it would be region so then by region we are seeing now all the unique regions so we have central we have east we have north we have south and uh, now let's uh, see what we want we want to know how many units are sold in each of these regions so then click on units and it will show you the sum of all the units separated by or, or by the categorization region. And now we want to know the total amount or the total cost. So now select the sum of total. And here we have the sum of total by central, which is the region. So we have sum of total and sum of units by region. So central has uh, the highest. And uh, what we want to do next is we want to break this further by rep. So how many, like who is leading in what region so you can break that data further so click on rep and move it to here and you will be able to see that okay and reuse is uh, selling about uh, 183 units gill is uh, selling about 167 like uh, wise you will see the data of other reps as well and uh, you can further break this down by item so in this case, Andrew use sold binders and pencil and these were the number of units and this was the sum of total. Likewise for Gill, likewise for Morgan, likewise for Smith. And uh, as you can see that we are breaking this data further and further. So earlier it was by region and then we further broke this down by rep and then further by item. What you can do is you can also change the breakdown or the category. So let's say if you want to know that, okay, what was the main item and who sold it and in which regions. So the way you change the order of the fields or rows, the story would change. And let's say if you want to break this by region first, so you will know that, okay, binders, they were sold 
in these regions and by these wraps. So, in total about 428 units were sold out of which uh, 367 were sold in central region, 4 in east and 57 in south and these were sold by these reps and in these quantities and this was the total amount. So it is very interesting to note that the entire data is summarized using the pivot table instantly and suppose you make any changes to this pivot let us say if you want to change this to 60. Now the data will not automatically get updated here. What you need to do is you have to select the pivot table any of the cell and then go to pivot table analysis and then click on refresh. Now the value has changed over here. So let us do one thing let us try to change a few values and then you will be able to observe what has changed. Here we are making a few changes randomly and uh, then you will be able to observe the change which will happen very quickly so you have to pay attention. So we have made certain changes in the data source and now we have selected one of the cells and now we are going to pivot table analysis and here we will click on refresh and instantly you will see that there will be certain changes that will be made in the pivot table. So clicking, clicking on it now and a lot of changes have been made here. So if you will undo it you will see that okay this is the value 5782 and now the value has become 5804 likewise this was 875 now it is about 1500. So the values have changed by default pivot table does not get updated automatically you have to refresh that by going to pivot table analysis which would appear when you will click on any of the cells of the pivot table. So this is something that you need to remember. And if you want to move this uh, towards the top of the table, you can just uh, select that and uh, just paste it here and then you will be able to move it. Or you can move the table to the, to the new worksheet like here and then you can paste it here. You can even copy paste that entire thing like this and you can play around with the order of uh, uh, the rows or the category. So here we have broken this down by region and uh, let us say if you want to break this by rep for example then move it and just have it here and uh, this data is now by rep and you if you want to get this data by let us say not by rep but by item so then you will be able to select that item. So when you are moving anything to rows it is basically breaking down the data and uh, on the right side you have the values where the actual numerical data will be shown. So now as you can see we have this data by region this by the rep and this by the item. So here we have item. And uh, this was uh, the arrangement that we had made earlier which gives us the insight of uh, the overall the breakdown of uh, the data that okay these are the number of binders that were sold and uh, for what amount and in which region by which wrap. So this will give you an option to analyze that okay which of the reps are performing at their best which ones aren't uh, which region is working well for you which one is not. So you will be able to derive a lot of insights from this data and that is why pivot table is so powerful so important because if you have a lot of rows let us say hundreds of thousands of rows pivot table can do this uh, kind of calculation instantly because uh, that is the power of MS Excel that it lets you do that kind of. Uh, computation and it is very easy to do. Suppose you want to add an additional field to it that okay this was the sum of units what if you want to know the average number of units so in that case what you need to do is just uh, drag and drop the units 
towards the values and uh, you will have another or new column but right click on this uh, new column and then uh, go to field settings and here instead of sum select average and click on ok so then it will calculate the average of each of the values and uh, corresponding to each of the regions so let's say the average unit uh, was 52 by region central and uh, 4 was the average uh, number of units for east about 78 for north and about 28 for south so this is very interesting to note how to calculate average within the pivot table as well now one of the interesting things that you should remember is let's say if you are further making some changes let's say 25 here we have 40 then we have uh, 100 then we have uh, 88 and this is okay so very random changes you won't uh, be able to check what these are because I'm just doing it randomly and rapidly and yeah so once it is done now if you want to refresh this data then just uh, click on refresh and then the entire pivot tables will get refreshed so at times it may not refresh for all in that case just uh, click on this uh, drop down and then click on refresh all so by that all the pivot tables will get refreshed thanks so much for watching this tutorial if you liked it please subscribe to our youtube channel and if you didn't then leave a comment so that we can improve it further do watch these suggested tutorials to learn even more and do let us know what you want to learn on being skilled